Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to look at the theory of transfer learning and also implement it in this particular video itself. So transfer learning is basically using a pre-trained model on our own custom task. Okay, so we'll basically use transfer learning is mostly used for fine-tuning the last layer. Okay, so what happens is you are having your own data set. So this is not your uh, data set that was on, that was used to train this model. You have your own data set. That is, you have your own problem. And this pre-trained model, it depends on the task that we are doing. So simply, if you are saying you, we are doing a image classification problem or anything that is to do with image, mostly we use uh, data sets like uh, pre-trained models like ResNet or um, let's say some of them also use vjg or make them many okay there are many many so what i'm trying to say is this particular uh, resnet or vgg model pytorch or you know tensorflow they give it to you okay this is already pre-trained what you need to do is you need to remove the last layer so this is the previous last layer so this this entire model over here you can see this was trained on different data set we need all of this we do not need the last layer okay so what we will do, you can see in the red, this layer we are going to remove. Why? Because this layer is trained on a different data set. We are having a different data set. Now why do we use it? We say that this pre-trained model is, is trained on so much data and this model is very very big. Huh? It's not a small model. It's, it has been trained on a lot of data for a lot of time. So it, it has the ability to extract very good features. Okay, so that is the basic of transfer learning. So this learning has been transferred. How it is transferred that this particular model has been trained on a, a tra uh, trained on a different data set and a very big, large and uh, diverse data set. So it has the ability to be able to extract very good features and then we, we will only need to train only this much, which means our training time will reduce. We can, um, you know, get accuracy with more difficult kind of a data set and for which we do not have the power to train our own model and you know it's basically fast and better that's why speed and accuracy so what we do is so till here we are seeing that this one was our pre-trained model the red box indicates that this is what we have to remove so let's say in the next what we have done we have removed and added our own so you see there is only one neuron this layer has been changed and this pre-trained network has been the same now it depends if you want to train only this layer or you want to train the whole network okay it depends so it depends on your task we will be writing the code i think in like uh, just a couple of seconds so this is the entire thing okay this is uh, here is your own image it can be uh, right here you are uh, i have taken an image from the mnist data set uh, in the real um, problem we will be using the cats and dogs so this is what so what has happened so this was the last uh, last layer last uh, means the full trained models last layer we will remove this add our own layer that is it so let's get to coding okay so hopefully we have understood the theory and now let's get down to do the practical now i'll um i will get the data set directly from kaggle so first here i'll import the kaggle.json so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to directly paste copy paste the code I have already made a video on how to import data set from Kaggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and going to paste over here. Uh, there are a couple of more lines. So I'll take this one as well and then paste it over here. And then there are two more. Um, I'll do and these uh, you can you know you, you can skip these portions because you just am uh, importing the data set. So. And the last one that I'm going to write it myself because it's too slow. Unzip um, train dot zip. So what this is going to do is it's going to get our uh, training images. So it will take a bit of time. So before that, I'll explain what is there. So there are uh, 25,000 images of both uh, of cats and dogs. Uh, it is split into both. There are 20, 12,500 images of cat and 12,500 images of dog. Now what we need to do is we need to import the basic library. So we'll say import OS, import NumPy as NP. We are also we are also going to import from PIL import image because we will be using it to read the images from and then we also need matplotlib dot by plot as plt for plotting the graphs we also need very important torch we need torch 
torch dot nn as nn and we also need torch vision so from torch vision we need um, this time what we need we need transforms we don't need data set because we already have the data set and we need models models with a capital s uh, with a sorry with a small s what we will do now is we'll just close this one now since transfer learning it is always better to use gpu okay so what i'm doing here is i'm going to runtime you can see over here and then i'm going to do change runtime and from here i'll give gpu so ideally i'll have to get the data set one more time so i am i apologize for that because this will change the runtime okay you will see right now so what i have to do i'll have to again take the data set so i'm going to say over here kaggle and hopefully it runs and what i'm going to do is now this is very good um, time to show you the shortcuts so what you can do is here you can go and run all so since i have already given the kaggle um, json file you can run all and it will not take a lot of time okay uh, it will obviously take the time that it has to so it will download the data set and we have imported the basic libraries fine now what i what i'm going to do after that is i'm going to use the transform so in this video you will actually see how transforms are really applied on the data sets okay on the real world data sets so quickly let's do that we are going to say um transform transform is equals to transforms dot compose so compose is used to have many transforms uh, one by one okay now what we are going to do is we are saying transforms dot resize now in the start only we are going to resize our images so i have seen 120 by 120 works the best at least in what i have seen means it doesn't give a problem okay i used 360 cross 360 before and it was taking hell out of hell out of time so we will we will have another transform we'll say transforms dot random horizontal flip you can also use vertical flip you can do a lot of things i'm skipping a lot of it because it gave me good accuracy by using only this much now i'm going to use another one random rotation rotation random rotation and you have to specify a degree i say 90 i mostly use 90 okay now the last one that i need is to convert it into two tens tensor okay so we will hit shift and enter to this okay transforms happens sometimes transforms okay so once we are done with that now what we can do is we can write our own um images uh, you know what we need is all images because we will need this at the end so we will use um os dot list dir list dir and then we need to see what our images we have okay so train has all the images so i'm going to say uh, copy path and then I'm going to write it over here and let's print all the images even though they are going to be a lot of them let's close this one over here um, yeah you can see the format you see cat or dog so it starts with the uh, animal cat or dog and then there is a number and dot jpeg so we will be only using the first one cat or dog as our label now what I need to do I need to write the cust dat, custom data set so we are going to say torch utils dot data dot data set and then what you're going to do is we are going to have an init function so in it we are going to write self and we are going to just leave okay we are going to have another one all images so we are going to say self dot all uh, all images is equals to all images okay now what we are going to do we are going to have a len function so this will give us the len of the images so we are going to return len of so how many images are there in the data set so we will say all images no so we will say len of all images now we have to return we have to write the get item function what this does is basically it gives you given an index it gives you the image at that index so we will say image is equals to image dot open and then what we are going to do is we have to pass the path first path because our image is in the train directory so path of this directory and then we'll give a dash a slash remember a dash and then we are going to give the name of the image so we are just say image 
underscore name is equals to self dot all images images of idx hopefully this is clear so all images had all the names self dot all images had all the names then index at this index i want the name of the image and call it image name and then pass this image name over here so this will basically read the image and let's see what image we have okay so here i'm going to say cost that we are going to pass all images and let's get the first image okay so let's get get the first image let's see what we have here um okay so this is the image that we have got for first okay this is our first image let's go for something else let's go for 101 and let's see what do we get we'll get another image so it's taking some time okay so this time we have a bigger image so obviously you saw if you remember in the this is a big image you see it, it's it's taking the almost the entire um screen and the 0th one was very very small that's why we had to resize it you see the 0th one you are seeing this 101 and now you see the 0th one if you remember it is very very small so that's why we had to resize it okay so we got the image now what we need to do is um targ target what is the target so we'll say um target was defined from the name so if you remember all image we say image name dot split we had to split with dot so if i can again show it to you here so if you again print this one you will get that first is the dog or the cat so the animal name after that there is a dot and there is a number which we don't need and then there is jpeg which again we don't need we just need the so if we do a split and then take the zeroth index so we did a split and we take a zeroth index okay now what i'm going to say is now we uh, now pytorch cannot send you know i mean it, it will not send uh, this type of uh, cat or dog it has to be changed into another uh, numerical format so i'm going to say if targ equal to equal to cat so i'm saying cat is first so targ's value will be given to zero okay else if it is a dog then targ will be equal to one so I'm not taking another variable. I'm just using it. You know, in Python, you don't, you can change the data type anytime. Now, I think we have to pass the transforms as well. So we will say transform here. Transform equal to none. So it will be overridden. So we are going to say if, and here we will also mention self dot transform equal to transform. Okay, if self dot transform is not none so if the transform is is not none then what we are going to do we are going to say the image has to be um passed through the transform function transform and then image and last we will return both the image and the dark okay dark um obviously you have to convert it into a uh, okay the one thing that i have forgotten here is let me bring it down now targ is zero or one you have to convert it into a pytorch tensor so we will say targ is equals to torch dot tensor and then we are going to pass in targ itself so again we are doing that and then we are saying float okay now this should do it now let's see what we get at the zero at position okay so it has given us an image fine let's see if if there will be transform that's why it shouldn't have given us uh, it shouldn't give this way it should give us the tensor so now you saw there was a error over here the s was missing now if i'm going to do it again okay fine i forgot to give transform so otherwise i would have gotten the error somewhere else so now you can see there is an uh, image of certain shape most of it is zero okay fine no problem um let's recheck it let's say we are taking only the image let's say we are taking only the image and then what we can do is print the unique values okay unique let's see what our values are there okay so there are different type of values so uh, i was actually thinking that they are only zeros and there is some problem no they are different type of values over there so we don't really have to 
uh, worry now what I am going to do is we are going to write the data loader so we will say train dot dl train underscore dl we will say torch dot utils dot data dot data loader okay now what we are going to say we are going to say cost that and here we are going to pass in the entire uh, all the images okay so we will not do a validation check this time we'll just see the images and we'll just do a train and see if the loss is decreasing we'll say yeah it's learning we will also pass the transform okay then batch size again since we are using images i mostly use 16 you can definitely go higher um here we are going to shuffle obviously so shuffle equal to true then what you can do is here you can have num workers equal to 2 and now in here we will use pin memory pin memory equal to true why because we are using gpu so until here i think we are okay we will be using gpu don't worry so we have used it we have used the data loader we have written the data loader now what we need to do is we need to use the device device is equals to torch dot device so basically you are saying that we will be uh, using CUDA or GPU torch dot CUDA dot is so this is the way you check whether the CUDA is available or not is available else CPU okay and then we can have device so this should print CUDA over here okay which means that we are using GPU now what we have to do is we have to get the model so I told you we will be using the ResNet 18 model. So from models, because we have imported from torchvision.models, uh, from torchvision import models, so we will say models, model equal to models dot ResNet 18. And then we are going to say pre-trained equal to true. And then hit enter, shift enter. Now this you can see it has downloaded the model. And what we are going to do is, now we are going to find that final if you remember from the slides what we showed us that we have to remove the final layer and put our uh, own layer obviously we have to uh, get to know that what was the dimension of the last uh, second last uh, whatever was the convolution or uh, forward uh, linear layer whatever was the dimension of that we need to take it into account so for that we will say model dot dot fc dot in features in features so we will remove this one model.fc dot in features so this will it this will give us what was the initial so uh, it will give you what was the initial dot features okay tor features so it should be dot feature total feature okay so total features 5 and 12 fine so we need to have our own last linear layer so we saw that we have to remove the pre-trained linear layer and we have to use our own linear layer so we will say model.fc so this is our own linear layer we will say nn.sequential s-e-q-u-e-n-t-i-l sequential um if you want a lecture on sequential it's not it, it's not even a lecture it's basically like uh, having different layers stacked on one top of each other so you'll see okay what are the layers that i'm going to need i'm going to need obviously a linear layer because we have removed a linear layer so we'll say nn dot linear now how what will be the input features what we have got from here dot fr total features and how much we need as output feature one because we are doing a binary classification and we also need a sigmoid okay so this was our model features so now with this line we have removed the old layer and written our own layer which is untrained till now so now what we are going to do we are going to send this to our device what was device if you remember CUDA which is GPU so model dot to device so if this is basically going to send your model to the CUDA device okay so you got some output this is basically the structure of the of uh, the ResNet 18 not interested right now we will have a video on ResNet of uh, how to write ResNet from scratch by ourselves and you know we'll have some dummy uh, dummy kind of a learning um, now I need to define the loss function this is this is done all of the time BCE loss why because we are doing cat and dog prediction which is a binary classification and hence we need BCE loss we also need optimizer is equals to torch dot optim optim dot stochastic gradient descent 
and we need to pass in we need to pass in the model dot parameters now obviously you know i, I am writing the like this because it's uh, the fastest way of doing it there are better ways of doing it now first what we are going to do is first let's just train the fc okay so model uh, until now we used to write model dot parameters so that was like training the entire model in this case it is okay to train the entire model but now i'm not you know not going to train the entire model i'm just going to train the fc that is a forward connection you wrote here forward connect or fully connected whatever sometimes forward connection or fully connected basically so we are going to update only this parameter so lr is equals to 0.01 .01. so this is going to be a learning rate so after we run this now we need to write our main training loop number of epochs let's say we are doing 10 i'll tell you how it works at 10 you can also go higher than this for epoch in range number of epochs now if the learning if the um, uh, learning rate is kept constant you know at a certain point there might be the case that it will not um, the the loss will not decrease further at that time you can reduce the learning rate okay so you might be thinking why i always use 0.1 so after that what we have done is for each epoch let me have uh, epoch loss so train epoch loss train epoch loss i'll say is zero okay and then out here also train loss equal to a sim single list okay now for data comma target in train underscore dl now what we are going to do we are going to say model and then pass in the data and then we are going to have an output and then we are going to say loss which is loss underscore function and then we will be passing the output and then we will compare it with the target and after that target after that what we are going to do we are going to append the train epoch loss not append we will go to add train epoch loss plus equal to the loss detach and then we are going to have numpy and after that what we are going to do is the three every time that we write loss dot backward and optimizer dot step now i'll hit train and let's see if there are some errors <clears throat> there can be okay the one thing that i almost forgot is this model is on the gpu so you can see from the error if this kind of torch.float tensor and weight type which is the model is cuda torch.cuda so what we need to do is we need to send these this data also on cuda so we need to say data is equals to data dot to device that's why we wrote device and then target also has to be is equals to target dot to device now obviously loss was in if the all of these are in the device then loss will also go on the device but to add to bring it into numpy you have to say dot cpu okay so three changes you added this to the device you added this one data also to device dot to device and from loss you just say dot cpu so from that cuda which is a gpu you have brought back to cpu now let's try to run this and let's see if there's some error is there maybe out in the output some squeeze will be required i don't know or maybe not we will see so it took me more than an hour to train this and a couple of changes that i have made i need to tell you so the first thing that i have done is instead of model.fc i have removed the fc and i have trained the entire model that's why model.parameters okay second thing is i have increased the number of epochs from 10 to 50 because i initially trained it on 10 and saw that the results were a little bit not very um, sure kind of okay the graph was not very uh, steeply decreasing and uh, yeah like i don't know what happened maybe due to fc only there some there were some problems i'll have to go and see um but yeah if you remove the fc that is the f fully connected layer and train the entire model and just for surety increase the um, number of epochs to 50 and the yeah, one more thing that i forgot was that i had written here train loss equal to a empty list but i had forgotten to append it okay so these were the three changes you have to remove the fc from here increase the number of epochs from 10 to 50 and then add this particular line at the last so once you are done with that you can see your loss has decreased properly which means your model has trained 
so if you have any questions write it in the comment section um or instagram i check my instagram multiple times a day and if you want a one to one discussion on any topic or your project or just computer science in general um go on my fiber page and the link is in the description and take my gig it's just 5 dollars really cheap so thank you very much and bye